Good morning and welcome to the first lecture for career skills. Career skills gets divided into two portions that is verbal reasoning as well as quantitative reasoning. Today we will begin the first lecture for verbal reasoning. So let's begin this lecture by taking a look at the syllabus first. So there are four units that we will cover under verbal reasoning. In the first unit we will talk about writing skills and how to develop writing skills based on facts. We will take examples of Indian economy, international relations, business, media and crime, sports and information technology. In the second unit, we have presentation skills again based on unit 1 that is based on factual based learning. In unit 3, we talk about sentence correction on topics like subject verb agreement and correct word usage. And in the last unit, we talk about something that you already are familiar with from the second semester, that is group discussion. However, we'll pay more attention to body language, content delivery, as well as time management. So let's get started with unit one, that is writing based on facts. Now, before I begin to tell you how to go about the topic, let's first understand why we should learn to write based on facts at all. So factual based writing is also called expository writing. It is the opposite of narrative or fiction writing or storytelling because the purpose is to expose the truth and present it in an untampered way. Therefore, it makes one's writing and thinking more precise, concise and clear. It helps in logical and analytical thinking because the purpose is to educate the reader. Therefore, this type of writing has to be very organized. It enhances the writing skills of the writer and the reading skills of a reader because it quickly gets to the point very efficiently. Also, if you're thinking about higher education, college forms require students to write essays where the essay has to be an expository text. And also, if you're planning to give exams like GRE or GMAT in future, it is a mandatory part of the syllabus. Now, let's move on to what you need to do in order to develop the art of factual based writing. So, first of all, we have to learn what is a fact, what is an opinion, how do they differ and how do we identify both. Once past that, we have to understand that an author may present his or her opinion in the form that it might seem like a fact, but it will not be one. So we must learn to discern between the two. No matter how pressing or convincing the author writes, you should be able to identify or differentiate a fact from an opinion. Now let's move on to learn what is a fact after all. So a fact is a statement that can be verified and proven to be true at any point of time. That means it is objective or in other words, it is not influenced by personal experiences and personal experiences will not change this kind of information. Now, how do we verify a fact? So verification can be done with the help of evidences. Now, where do you get these evidences from? First of all, from empirical data. Now, empirical data is just information based on observations collected from sight, olfactory sense, touch, from what you hear, from taste. All right, so all the five senses contribute to empirical data. Next, by research, anything that can help prove, measure, determine something like statistics or scientific law. So that will help you identify and verify facts. Also, you can verify facts using reliable sources such as expert opinion, history books, newspapers, or if information presented is a law, that is nature's law, government's law, or scientific law, etc. Now, what do facts look like? They often look like statistics or statistical data. It resembles numbers a lot. Concrete names presented are facts. Year, date, time, quantity, value, model, make, such kind of information is a fact. Okay, so let's see how to differentiate and identify between a fact and an opinion. So we already know that a fact is a true statement that can be proved or verified and a fact doesn't change no matter who says it. Opinion on the other hand is something that a person thinks or feels and not necessarily supported by proof or knowledge and opinions can change from person to person depending upon their perspective. Now how to identify a fact? You can look for words like numbers, if you find statistics, general truths, 
any document that supports or a statement any eyewitness that says or verifies a statement any dates or records these are all signals for facts also words like always or so and so data predict words like substantiate prove at all times demonstrate these are indicative that whatever text is following is a fact let's look at an example new york is made up of five boroughs all right now let's see what kind of words signify an opinion so if somebody says something is good or bad if you can identify somebody's point of view words like interpretation assumption in my opinion my impression i think so and so i prefer this i guess so probably feel possibly these are all indicative of an opinion following these words for example new york is probably the most famous city in america now this statement is an opinion because it is subjective it can vary from person to person someone might feel new york is the most popular city others might believe that texas is the most famous city so it so others might feel that texas is the most famous city in america so again viewpoints any kind of perspective so whatever somebody feels or thinks is a personal opinion this is how you'll differentiate a fact from an opinion now let's look at some examples so if i were to ask you velocity of spinning of earth you can verify this irrespective of what you think where you are present at the moment the velocity of earth at any given point of time will be 460 meter per second similarly there's velocity of spinning of the sun there's velocity of spinning of a neutron star and then the velocity of spinning of supermassive black hole so these are all facts because no matter what you think your opinion your experience will not change or affect this information now let's look at avengers so is it a marvel is it a marvel movie or a marvel production or is it a dc production so the fact is that it is a marvel production and how can you verify that from reliable sources from information about from the production house publications that avengers is a marvel production now let's see what an opinion is like so any statement which you cannot prove to be true or is a personal experience or your own feeling or a judgment is an opinion so a statement which cannot be proven is an opinion an opinion may be a judgment belief viewpoint thought or anything based on one's perception entirely one's feelings can be opinions so opinions are arguable that means it is different for everyone an opinion may not be true even if the author wants you to believe it if it cannot be proved you should know that it is not a fact often an opinion is not clearly stated in writing but one must learn to detect it opinions often stem from biases now what are biases biases are personal and preconceived beliefs it is literally prejudging or making up one's mind about something or someone before you know the relevant fact it often results from generalizations or ignorance of facts so in other words you can say that bias is the unstated point of view of an author that a reader must detect so biases is where opinions come from for example you must have heard of gender bias or gender discrimination the concept of preferring male over female or female over males is gender discrimination or gender biasing so these kind of biases give rise to opinions now let's take an example of opinion so you can see a picture here now what would be your words to describe this picture if you say it's a clown it has a painted face it's a circus performer it's smiling it has striped clothes so these would be facts why because anybody who sees it will be able to conclude the same however if someone would say it's a funny picture or a funny guy he has weird hair he looks scary happy ugly joyful whatever you feel about this picture is an opinion why because it can change from one person to other and cannot be proven now let's look at another example so we have three examples of facts here 
Let's read the first one. The house was painted on November 18, 1999. Now, this is what a fact would look like. Instead, if somebody were to present an opinion about this fact, one would say, the house was painted recently on November 18, 1999, so it looks as good as new. Now, whether it looks as good as new or it doesn't look new, it looks old, it doesn't look good at all, this kind of information would be an opinion. Let's look at the second sentence. It says, today is Saturday. Now, if somebody were to convert this fact or state it as an opinion, one would say, today is Saturday and Mark always sleeps in on Saturdays. So, that is why he is late for the game. Now, here, even though somebody is talking about Mark's reason for getting late for the game it is not a fact because it cannot be verified however today is saturday this is verifiable and a fact sentence 3 says my son had a temperature of 102 degrees this morning this is a fact presents a number presents a temperature a value however if somebody were to state an opinion in a similar way they would say there is no way for me to go to school because my son had a temperature of 102 degrees this morning. So here the opinion is that the author felt that there was no other way because of a certain fact. So the reason is personal. It is an opinion. Let's look at another one. The House Un-American Activities Committee, HUAC, had been formed in 1983 as an anti-communist organ. So here it is presenting a name of a committee and it is presenting a year. So it is a fact. Joseph McCarthy made a public accusation that more than 200 card carrying communists had inflated the United States government. So again, this is a fact because this can be verified. Next, his zealous campaigning ushered in one of the most repressive times in 20th century American politics. The word most is an indication for you to figure out that this is an opinion. It is arguable. So I hope with these examples you are able to clearly differentiate what is a fact, what is an opinion, what words indicate a fact, what words indicate an opinion. Now having understood the concept, you not only have to just understand it merely, you have to adapt this style in your writing in order to write factual based text. Now we will gradually do that over time. In the next lecture we will do few more examples and then you will be given an assignment where you can test your knowledge of how well you have understood how to differentiate between a fact and an opinion. For now that's all. Thank you and take care.